Hello, in this programming video, I'm going to show you the unsafe and safe cast operator in the Kotlin programming language. So sometimes, for example, if I create a variable, call it epic string, and I put, what should I put? I will put the data type any, and I'll sign it to no. Okay, simple stuff. And if I create another one, okay, I also want to call this epic. I want to call this str, so sort of string, colon, data type of string, equals, you know, epic. If I say as string, so I'm doing a smart cast here. And if I print this out, let's see what we get. So, sorry, no, that's not the command. That's the keep shortcut. Okay, so if we wait for it to run, we get an exception. Obviously, you can handle this exception. Feel free to have a look at the exception handling part of this series, and this will be the exception right here. But we get an exception because you know it's null, and this is an unsafe cast operator. Luckily, there's a safe way of doing it. Instead of doing this, if we do this, if we do We just put the question mark after it and what is going on what is going on oh sorry Hmm? What? what am I doing? What am I doing? Sorry, we meant to put it there and then we meant to put it there. There we go. I was wondering why that wasn't working. Did not mean to do that. Uh, let's click run. Okay, let's want to run it again. Okay, so it prints out no. And this just makes the, the smart cast operation safe. So basically, it provides a safe cast you know, operator and it allows it to safely cast to a type. It returns a null if casting is not possible rather than throwing an exception. And that way, you can handle using a conditional statement the null value and then maybe do something accordingly, provide a default value, or inform the user that maybe the input is invalid, maybe they haven't input anything before. Example. So that's how to you know handle unsafe and safe cast operation. Simple stuff, but really really useful. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.